Okay, let me tell you what's going on right now, like on my home lake, uh, Lake Murray. The, the fish are all suspended pretty much in the middle of the lake. They're, the bait is all in the middle of the lake over deep water. And really, I, I mean, you can't, it's not like you can go through and catch them vertical. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm driving around. When I see a lot of bait, what I'm doing is I'm throwing my trolling motor down and I'm actually cranking that volume up really, really high. And I'm pulling those shad in there and bringing them up, and I'm causing fish to school. So, you know, volume is the, is, is the key thing. I mean, if you're in a situation out there and you're not catching them very good, and think, but you know the shad's in there and they're they're kind of real scattered, man, take a chance. Turn that volume to ten, and you may get, be able to get those suckers to school. I mean, it's happened three or four times for me lately. Where. I mean, I've really pumped that volume up. I may not leave it up all the time, but before you leave, if you're in a high percentage area, okay, and you know they're supposed to be there, and you pull in in a tournament or whatever, and you're in there and you're like, God, I know these fish are here. Why aren't they biting or why can't I see them on the graph? Before you leave, give it an extra eight or ten minutes and crank that volume up to ten and see what happens. If nothing happens, hey, you didn't lose anything. You were leaving anyway. But several times I've been able to pump that thing up to 10 and get them to start popping and catch a few more fish off that spot.